Oh, great. I didn't have OBS open. And welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. As you can hear, sound quality was terrible. Somehow my microphone is broken. And thanks to my wonderful partner for lending me their microphone. So we will have Journey Beyond the Abyss edited edition going on. Shorter video, not much to say. Let's see how that goes. So, you saw me there, just hunting some fish, and now jumping into the abyss, because the plan is to get hydrochloric acid from the abyss. For that, I built a pump and some redstone engines. I have all the things for a tank, and I'm going to set that up. Uh, and then hopefully regularly come over and get my hydrochloric acid in bulk. As you can see, the setup is very quickly done. I need to program the pipes. And there is the pump. Just going to connect it and then it will pump sweet, sweet hydrochloric acid into the tank. Problem is, I forgot to bring any barrels, so I will just bring home a barrel or two of hydrochloric acid. Oh, detail. Uh, to work the redstone engines, I of course use gates because they give a nice constant output of redstone without the need for leather. And so just two gates are enough to put the pump. Takes a bit too warm up, uh, but yeah, it works quite slowly. Let's see the product. And there it is. A nice barrel full of hydrochloric acid. And the tank, as you saw, is filling up nicely as well. So, time to go back and regularly return to get our fill of hydrochloric. And every once in a while, I need to move the pump because the hydrochloric doesn't refill. Back to the base. First task at hand is to make a new Faraday armor because the old one broke and <clears throat> I'm not going to tempt with the gods of high power electrics. After that, it's chemical time. Let's use our um, newly gotten hydrochloric acid to feed the Thing. And with thing, I mean the continuous stirring chemical reactor, of course, to make um, chloromethane out of uh, methanol. So, hydrochloric acid is there. Beautiful. Now, what other misadventures in chemistry? to do next. Well, we'll see. So what I'm going to need is different kinds of um, metals like vanadium for sulfuric acid production and vena steel. I'm going to need um, cobalt and beryllium and other tiny metal fragments. And for these, I need to leach ores. And to leach ores, I'm going to need um, three fluids. Water, check, easy. Hydrochloric acid, eh, not that easy, but still check. And I am going to need sodium hydroxide, which not check, I need to make that. And to make that, I'll need lots and lots and lots of catalysts, I think. 
Chaos Machine is kind of strange. So, first thing is to have a um, machining bench only producing ferrous catalysts. I'm going to need dozens, if not hundreds of them. So, let's do this. And then I need to work on the specimen collector. Or rather, specimen collection. As you can see here, I fall into the trap of the sieve upgrade. Uh, they are useless. They just disappear. You can't use them. Uh, I still will make some. Which is a waste of my time. As they just disappear. <laughs> Wait. Wonderful. Wonderful. Fox is confused. Next, I need to connect a water pipe to the leaching vat. Check. And make some barrels. Put hydrochloric acid in the barrels. So, hydrochloric acid. Check. That leaves me with the sodium hydroxide, which is made in a continuous stirring electrochemical reactor. Uh, from Ryan and to make that I first need to measure out the dimensions of the reactor which is 6 by 2 and then I can figure out where to place it in relation it needs to be rather close but I want to have everything in one chunk sure there are no problems with that so <clears throat> I thought about this being a good location, so let's get all the stuff done that I need. Um, yes, folks, come on. It's, it's, it, it's not too hard to find the right thing. Okay? Cool. Yes. Needs lots of stuff. And these are my markers to see where the thing is. Problem that I encountered with... Um, rock hounding structures is that they tend to rotate if you right click them sometimes right I have no idea what it is but usually that means that I need to take apart parts of the structure thankfully I made quite a few things already so the construction of the second um, reactor goes rather quickly there are only a few things I need to make specifically for the reactor as you can see just flying through construction here yes and that is uh, the only thing it's redstone repeaters because they're annoying and I find out that I'm mostly out of um, red alloy silicon so I need to make a new batch of that and then there's a cut with a cut uh, where I just stand around a while and wait. Oh no, wait, that happened. That happened before when I wasn't recording. Oh, God. Yes, lots and lots of wood because I need lots and lots of half steps to underplate the base, which will happen sometime off camera because my pickaxe is much powerful so let's build all the th all the stuff i got all the things i got also all, all the inventory fullness so easy plonk everything in oh yeah i've got the gas condensers and there are three of them just standing around so, and for the last part, I do have some of those, and it's, it's strangely not redstone that's empty. Who'd have thunk it? So, that's all just regular maintenance and stuff. And with my setup, redstone also is not a problem, I have any bulk. Also, I made a little bit of um, invar just for this purpose to make microchips. Microchips will be a thorn in my ass 
constantly. And there is the pressure interface. There we go. Continuous stirring reactor. And the nice thing is that to make hydro sodium hydroxide, I just need brine and water. With no secondary output, no byproduct, no nothing. Not really that realistic because usually industrially you get hyd uh, sodium hydroxide from zapping brine, yes, but you get chlorine as a prime byproduct. Um, and sodium hydroxide. What you do not get actually is um, sodium out of aqueous solution. That's that's something that's impossible. Right, and there we have the barrel hat for the thing and more water. Takes me a while to realize that my water output from just one pump is very much not enough. In a later episode, I will put in a second pump, and then a third pump, and then it's slowly pressurizing. So, let's see. Now, power is connected. Let's see, how does this legion work? So, you have dusts. These dusts come from shards, and these shards have a specific gravity get them from the leaching vat with all the three liquids and water vapor inserted and then choosing the right gravity level. So do you want to collect the lighter shards or the heavier shards? The filters would have um, made the interval smaller so you could more easily choose specific kinds of shards because they all um, differ in their specific gravity. Now, this is set up, gang is inserted. Now all I need for my happiness is sodium hydroxide, but that'll take a while, so let's speed things up again. So I still can't believe that those filters just won't work, so I, of course, make another batch. And then I complain about them on the Discord, and then... Yeah, doesn't work. Can right-click, but I can't put it in. Doesn't change the filter tiers. And... I tried it in um, Creative as well. The upper tiers of filters also don't work. It just... It's just a broken mechanic. Oh, well. So... Still too little sodium hydroxide. What else could I do? What else could I do? Oh yes, I could be very clever and connect the brine actually to my machine. That would be a smart thing to do. And for that I need to empty out this filter uh, tank, I mean. And then because the thing is, these um, liquid ducts, they, they do not connect to... Um, they do not connect to barrels, but they do connect to these filters. So, to automatically input the brine, I can't use barrels, but these tanks all don't auto-output, so it's very convenient to have a tank over a barrel. The tank has much more uh, liquid inventory space. Uh, so, yeah. And there we go. It's the first batch. Let's go to slow. Or not, because the machine isn't working. Now for troubleshooting. What did I do wrong? Well, the first thing that I thought I did wrong was just simply I had these things wrong. Or not. Who knows? Still doesn't work. Hmm. 
Did I put tank on the wrong thing? No. Does it have power? No, it doesn't have power. Does it work now? No. Does it have water? Water, water vapor. Yes, I'm leaving that in. Well, yes. Hmm. Maybe. Do you need two things of water vapor? Yes, I will. <coughs> Because it's a very strange machine. So let the fox figure out that he needs two things of water vapor. No, I cannot output that just like that. So what ingenious solution do I come up with to fill those tanks? Well, I do the third tank and fill uh, the contents of the first tank into the, the other two tanks. Great. Very, very smart. <clears throat> I will, in later episodes, of course, build a... Um, yes, you need a pump for that. Um, a pipeline from the water vapor, because the the making of other things doesn't take that much water vapor. Does it work? No. The server won't help you either. I need to take it away. Very well. So, specific gravity. Yes, yes, that's alright. You just need to... Come on. Yes. Close. And... solution is most likely that now the tank is somewhere else and yes of course it's most apparent saturated brine <coughs> so no that was not a problem what I'm going to do what am I going to do I just rebuilt the whole machine because at this point in time with half an hour of recording well not recorded and about uh, and being miffed that the thing with the filters didn't work uh, I didn't want to take any chance so just watch me rebuild the leeching vat and as far as I remember it was just that the tank was in the wrong, on the wrong thing. And yes, you need to um, reset these leaching beds after use. Because they do get filters. Because of course they do. Uh, just like these um, gas tanks then need to be defiltered before I could use them again because they are different things. Also, do not build machines while you are uh, standing inside of them. It's not a good idea. And now back to real time. Let's remove the server and the planning table. Put power into the machine. Because using the planning table removes stored power from the generator. Then put in that thing, of which I need to build many, many more. Put in gang. <clears throat> Realize that the gravity level is way too high. So I need to set that down to a better level. And I want a van oxide, which maximum level is five. It also gives me alvanite shards. So what are alvanite shards? Let's ask JEI about that. A bit of lag. Is this a useful resource? Well, no. It mostly gives me aluminium, a bit of vanadium, and a little bit of zinc. But, alright, we are just going to get it. 
right where that we want or not. So let's switch this on and nothing is happening. What did I forget? Why does it not work? Well, past fox, it's not a little water vapor because you've got a water vapor. It's not the liquids, but it has something to do with the liquids. Ah, you got the hunch. The agitators, yes. They need to go in there. Yes. Yes, and y you need the third one as well. Come on. Yeah. The master spunt. Great. Switching it on, and it works. We're getting gang, and... Just right on cue, it starts raining, and it starts actually a thunderstorm. We will not hear that because... The old audio... Uh, it's gone. <clears throat> I couldn't separate it. Couldn't separate that voice. And so as I empty out the reactor, let's talk about what is to come. Well, I need to work on those shards to get my metals out, actually. And for that, I'm going to need more machinery, and I'm going to need more resources. And this will be done with... don't know how the thing is called, but I will need to make sodium cyanide, and for that I'm going to need quite a lot of ammonia, and so I'm going to need nitric acid, which also it's ammonia. So, join me next episode when I make those two friendly and not at all deadly chemicals. See you then, everyone. Goodbye. They say when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares right back at you. <laughs>